Scribe Halen. It's good to see you again, Knight. You've come a long way since you stumbled in the Cambridge Police Station. Thanks, Halen. I assume the place is still in one piece. We're doing the best that we can. We've had the occasional synth attack, but so far we've been able to keep them from overrunning us. Thanks to the reinforcements and the air support, I'd say that site was secure. What about those feral ghouls? Are they still a problem? With a vertebrate at our disposal? Not a chance. Anyway, I know you don't have time for small talk, so I'll get right to it. I've had the men set up the equipment we'll need to pinpoint you once you've found the bombs. We've rigged up this distress pulser to emit a unique tone that we'll be listening for. When you find the bombs, plant the pulser, and we'll handle the rest. After that, you should probably head back to Proctor Ingram and bring her your report. Why use this distress pulser? Unless you could locate an entire radio station within the glowing sea, there's no way you're going to be able to send out a regular signal. Luckily, the distress pulser's ping cuts right through the interference, and we'll be able to hear you as long as we stay close to the frontier. Look, I know you've been through the glowing sea before, but remember to keep an eye on your Geiger counter. If you don't, the radiation will cook you from the inside out. Good luck, Knight.
Piper. Shoot. That was all I had. All right. Got it.
state your purpose, stranger. You walk on Atom's hallowed ground. I'm looking for some bombs. Nuclear bombs. You trivialize that which resides here. This place is holy. The children of Atom have sworn to guard this place until the time of the Great Divide. None shall enter. What's this Great Divide? One day, Atom will return, and his touch upon the Earth will bring the Great Divide. His glow will spread, it will illuminate, and it will birth infinite worlds from within us all. Trust me, I'm on your side here. I want to help you out. Atom has no need of help from non-believers. When he returns to us, these relics will carry his word and his glory to all corners of the Earth. That is why they must be safeguarded. Just say whatever you have to, to get us out of here. I want to spread his... uh... glory. Look, the bombs will get used, okay? Isn't that what you want? Perhaps then I have misjudged you. If you would see these relics used, then Atom's will is done. Take this, and prepare to enter his inner sanctum. Follow the brilliance of the glow and it shall lead you to the relics. May Atom's radiance warm your soul. Heads up. What you got for me? Hey, Piper. Blue, you got a minute? Something up? Well, yeah, but it's nothing bad. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head and what you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she gonna have if I never go near her again? It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. Do people actively avoid you? Well... Yeah. I mean, I didn't exactly start the paper to make friends. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. It sounds like things got better. For the city? <laughs> yeah. For me. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. It started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but... Being here with you now, now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just, Blue, I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? You don't need to be flawless, Piper. You're perfect for me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new one. Well, hmm. Well, I think you're perfect too. <laughs> 
goodness, Blue, I... I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on. Let's not keep the world waiting. Look alive. Where to? You need something, let me know. Your thoughts? Or one well-preserved relic, you know that? Your thoughts? Doing the right thing rarely makes you popular. But I don't think I could live with myself otherwise. Your thoughts? If the Institute and its synths think we're going down without a fight, they're in for a damn big surprise. Your thoughts? Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Your thoughts? What did I ever do to deserve you? Is everything okay between us? Someone sounds a little nervous. <laughs> well, you've got nothing to worry about. This is the happiest I've been in a long time. I'm out here with you. What else could I need? That was all I had. All right. Sir? This is Captain Mitch Dunleavy, 132nd Engineering Corps at Sentinel Site Prescott. All lines of communication are down, and we're tracking multiple inbounds on radar. If this is a drill. We need confirmation immediately. We've got a lot of nervous soldiers over here, Command. This is the big one. They want to head home to their families before it's too late. Some of the inbounds are getting awfully close. Wait a minute. The inbounds are splitting into multiple targets? Oh, hell. This is it, isn't it? May God have mercy on our souls. Proctor Ingram. Looks like the Mark 28s are gonna do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. It won't be too much of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. It's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep his system stable are gonna hold. Are you sure this is safe? Of course. I've checked every connection, every circuit myself. Prime will hold together. Proctor? All the readouts look green. I think it's time for you to perform the power shunt. Actually, I think I'm gonna let you press the button. After all, without your help, we'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. It would be better if a trained technician performed that task, but I suppose you deserve to be the one to do it. Liberty Prime, back online. Let's run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command accepted. Give him a moment. He needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice module online. Audio functionality test initialized. Designation Liberty Prime, Mark II. Mission, the liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Primary targets, any and all red Chinese invaders. Liberty Prime, 
Full system analysis. All systems. Nominal. Weapons. Hot. Warning. Nuclear weapon payload depleted. Reload required. Warning. Power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart recommended. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders compromised. Running lights across the board here. It's looking good from where I'm sitting. Doctor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. What was that he said about his power core? Prime's in top shape, but his nuclear engine needs to be restarted. Right now, we have him running off of the Pridwin's engines. Once I get that sorted out, we'll send him off to kick in the Institute's front door. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power armor. You think I'll need it for my next assignment? I don't know, but it never hurts to be prepared. Anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxson said he needed to speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible. <laughs>